Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique LaRae. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I study, how I take notes, and how I prep for exams. So I'm gonna be showing you how I study in my clinical microbiology course, but the process is still the same for all of my other classes though. So the first thing that we see is the chapter title and the chapter outline. And these are the first things I type on my Google Docs page. Next, I will read through the objectives. So this is what I use to follow as a guide on what I need to understand. And the first objective is to describe the general characteristics of the genus Staphylococcus. In my notes, the very first thing we see is the general characteristics, and I should be able to understand all of the learning concepts by the time I finish reading this chapter. So when I'm actually sitting in lecture, that is when I do all of my highlighting and formatting of my notes. And I keep a table of contents for easy navigation because this document is like 10 pages. So I'm not about to be sitting here <laughs> scrolling just to find something. So yeah, let's get into these highlight colors. So green is for key concepts. Purple are like need to knows or don't forget. And blue are distinguishing characteristics between species. Next is the pictures like the one I have right here. Um, I get them directly from the book's companion PowerPoint that is given to me by my professor. And they are helpful for things like <laughs> this chart flow chart. So let's start going through my notes. Again, the main part here is the general characteristics. And we have staining, morphology, its requirements of growth, and then the differentiating test for the pathogenic species. So this page is mainly for the coagulase negative species, and that includes epidermidis, saprophyticus, and lung denesis. So blue text are important things that my professor said in lecture. So I make them blue just because it stands out for me to remember as I'm going through my notes. So we have all these virulent factors. Then we have epidemiology. So mainly like where does this bacteria live at and how is it transmitted in the community and things like that. And again, the blue is what my professor said. So I included it in my notes. Okay, so next up is laboratory implications, just because that's the focus of this course, is how to identify microbes and then help the physician diagnose the patient. So we have specimen collection and handling, <laughs> basically how to get the bacteria from the patient to the lab so that we can test it. And then we have microscopic examination, so what we would see under the microscope. So it's basically gram-positive cocci or circles in pairs or clusters. Next is how to isolate Staphylococcus. So we need to know like what agar is gonna grow on. And then cultural characteristics is just talking about like what the bacteria will look like when we grow it on agar. So I have a, um, an excerpt for like Epidermidis, Arius, Saprophyticus, Hemolyticus, like all the species because they look slightly different. And then these are the pictures that go with that. Um, the textbook also has like these really helpful charts like this. So you, it helps you determine Staphylococcus in comparison to other genus of bacteria. And then next is identification methods. So these are all the lab tests that will be run in the laboratory to identify Staphylococcus. So these are all Staphylococcus species and we're able to differentiate them out individually. And then this is just specifically for the coagulase negative species. Rapid staph test and then antimicrobial susceptibilities. Okay, so that is a brief overview of how I take my notes. So the main way I do this is through outlining the chapter and making sure I'm able to understand all the learning outcomes. So the process that I do for studying is basically verbal recall. The day after lecture, I review through all my notes one time through out loud. And a few days later, I will begin recalling the information in bits. So I will go through the notes and teach out loud as if somebody was in front of me, which usually is just my little puppy listening. But literally, I go through all of my notes about twice. Next time I look at the information, I will begin to do a full verbal recall. So this is what I do. You see this, general characteristics of Staphylococcus aureus. I wide it out and I need to be able to explain this out loud without looking at my notes. I literally go through all of the concepts at least once. I began using this study strategy when I was taking anatomy and physiology. So I did some research into verbal recall as a study strategy and what it does for me is that it helps me determine what I don't understand. So if I'm just recalling and talking and talking about some concepts but I get to one where my brain just goes blank, then I know right then and there that that is the concept that I need to remediate before the exam. And I could spend less time on the other stuff because I obviously understand it enough to talk about it. So 
that's my study strategy <laughs> because it saves me a lot of time studying stuff I already know. I've been doing this for almost all of my courses since then and it has worked as a solid study strategy for me. About two days before the exam, I will do straight practice questions that are similar to the test I'll be taking. So this further helps with recalling information and gets the wheels turning for taking the actual test. I'm a second guesser and practice questions help me kind of listen to my intuition, I guess, so that I won't ignore my better judgment. It's so true that when you second guess, the first answer that you chose is usually what was correct. Okay, so this is how I study, how I take my notes, and how I prep for exams. This is my whole routine and this studying is spread out over a span of like two weeks. So taking the initial notes is what eats up most of my time and it may take me about an hour to three hours sometimes just to read the chapter. But once I'm reviewing, I spend between 30 minutes to an hour doing the verbal recall because I still need time to do my assignments and also have other classes plus work and other things to do with my time. So some people don't do as much as I do. Some people do way more than I do to study, but this is just what works for me. Now, I know this video was tailored to microbiology, but these study methods are helpful for many courses. And I know because I've done it <laughs> for many courses. So if you are up to it, give verbal recall a try. I know it is very helpful for me because it helps me pinpoint right away what topics I don't understand. Comment down below what study strategies you use and let me know how your ways may differ or be similar to mine's. I honestly do feel like a solid study routine is key in any healthcare field, especially when information is cumulative and builds upon itself constantly so having study routines based on your learning style definitely will take you a long way thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory science <laughs>